I'm Denise Plant. You know, our state is rich with history that dates back centuries ago. With time, those precious memories, they start to fade. And that's why many work very hard to save Colorado's most endangered places, including Jennifer Arrigo Charles. Nice to see you, Jennifer. Hi, Denise. You know, this year is the 20th anniversary of Colorado Preservation Saving Places Conference and also the 20th anniversary of the Endangered List. Why is it so vital to our community that we have this? Well, so Colorado Preservation is all about saving places, like you said. There are so many great buildings um, within communities that can be lost, and people kind of take them for granted. You know, all these great main streets and um, these unique places that are uh, landmarks for the community. They're not always guaranteed that they're right. going to be around. So our organization works with communities, individuals, nonprofits, um, and, and tries to really make something exciting happen there. The big conference is February 1st through the 4th. What can we expect during that time? We're pretty excited. This is 20 years, so 20 years of saving places through our conference. Conference. And people kind of ask us, well, who should attend? And I would say everyone. If you have an interest in history, if you want to learn more about Colorado, if you've got a project that you're working on, you know, there's architects, there's contractors, there's so many people that are coming, and it's a great opportunity to network, mm -hmm. learn more, and, and see what's out there. Go explore our state. We've got a great silent oh, auction. And this year, anybody that has never been has um, access to a half price um, ticket. So we'd love to have you there. Oh, you're kidding. Yes, so we get a discount. Yes. All right, so the number to call that right there at the bottom of your screen, mention Colorado and Company, you get half price ticket if you're a newbie. 303-893-4260 is the number. You're also going to announce at the conference the most endangered places. But today we're lucky enough to actually share a few of them. One of them you're going to talk about is Interlaken Resort. I have never heard of Interlaken Resort. <laughs> You're not the only one. Really? A lot of people haven't, and it's not that far away. I mean, a lot of people know Leadville, right? right? Now, it's maybe 10 miles from Leadville in an area called Twin Lakes, and it's a beautiful hike. You can take a two-mile hike to this old resort community from the 1880s, and at one point, you know, there used to be horseback riding. People could stay at the hotel overnight. There was even an old steamboat that would cross the lake, but now these buildings are still standing. The one that you see in the picture there, mm. that's the old Dexter cabin, and that's it's actually open to the public. So if you've Beautiful. got time, take the Colorado Trail, stop in, and then work with us on how to save the other buildings that are there, but uh, gorgeous. are in great condition. I'd want to move in. I'd be like, I'm <laughs> <Right>? not leaving <laughs> Interlake and Resort. You also are working hard to preserve gold metal apple orchard. Share its past. This is one of my favorite stories. So, you know, we're all familiar with the food store, right? Right mm -hmm. now, you've got probably a few choices. You've got your, your Fuji apples, you've got your Golden Delicious, the regulars that people know. But a lot of people don't realize is that at one point there were over 400 varieties of apple trees in Colorado and we're working with a small farm it's privately owned and uh, the Montezuma Orchard Group they go out and look for the hundred year old trees that are still standing that might be close to death and we oh. could lose this important heritage right. so they're grafting the trees they're replanting them so eventually these heirloom apple varieties won't be lost and you can actually go there you know they'll give you yeah. workshops how to make cider with these varieties what do they taste like um, you know apples weren't just a seasonal thing back then. You could have your summer apple, your fall apple. Uh, Interesting. There's quite a story. And that... it sounds fun to do with the entire family, too. Right. And, you know, that's it's not really a building that we're working to save no. there. It's sort of this culture a and a landscape. Yep. Gotcha. What about Crossin's Market? You know, that's a completely different type of story. That is up near Steamboat Springs, so northern part of the state. And it's an old building that was, um, in 1904, an old market. Um, and in 1964, it closed the doors. Now, it's in the town of Yampa, so, you know, they have over 400 people there, but not a big community. But it, there's so much heritage. There's so much history that's still alive there. And so um, the town is working with the local friends group, and they want to put the town offices there and have a museum on the bottom port. Now, how many sites have you actually highlighted since this program started? We get around in, in, in 20 like years. It. You know, we've hit over 100 um, buildings that we're working with. So 113 um, uh -huh. throughout the state, 49 of the counties. Um, we take nominations from the public. I was going to ask you, yeah. like, how do they make the endangered list? Are they nominated? Do they have to hit certain requirements? A little bit of both. Um, there are so many important places that are out there. So the first step that we ask is if you know of a place that's threatened but just 
too important for our state to lose, contact us. You nominate the building first. You know, we'll take a look at it and then we'll see, you know, we'll balance off how significant it is with how threatened it is and what type of resource, where is it located, and then um, we announce our newly listed sites at the conference. Very nice. Well, thank you for giving us a sneak peek, a lot of valuable information. That conference is right around the corner and you can register now for the 2017 Saving Places Conference taking place February 1st through February 4th at the Colorado Convention Center. Call this number right now. It's 303-893-4260. That's 303-893-4260 or visit coloradopreservation.org. We'll be right back.